Hello again, my Odoo Nuts. We're going to be talking about a quality app feature called Failure Locations. Now, if you watched our other quality videos, you already know that quality checks are used during certain operations to identify products that are defective or otherwise unusable. But where do those defective products go once that they've failed a check? Well, by setting a failure location on a specific quality control point, products that fail the checks it creates are automatically sent to that specific location. So without further ado, no chit chat, let's fail some quality checks or upside down. Okay, so first things first, we need to do some very quick configuration. So we wanna jump into our inventory application and we've done this dance before, configuration and settings. Now you wanna scroll all the way down until you reach the warehouse's header over here. And there we are. Now inside of here, you wanna find storage location setting, which as you guessed it, we've already checked off over here to save you a bit of extra time. If you haven't enabled it, make sure you check it off right there. Hit save just to lock in your settings right there before moving on. So what does this do? Well, the storage location setting allows us to create sublocations within warehouses to help further organize our inventory. They have a lot of uses in Odoo, but for this workflow specifically, having the setting enabled causes a failure locations field to appear on QCP forms. This is the field that we're gonna use to designate where products that fail quality checks should be sent. All right. So now that we've got our settings the way that we want them, let's see how to add a failure location to a QCP. And it should actually also be noted. I always seem to say this. This video will only cover the details specific to failure locations. But if you need a refresher on how to create and use QCPs, check out the description below for a link to our video on that topic. Okay, now I need to head back to the main Odoo dashboard because we're going to the quality application to spend some quality time together. Then inside of here, you want to select the word quality control up in the header and you guessed it control points. And inside of here, we're going to select the word new because we're making a new one. However, I think I should actually probably not go this route. I've already created an example QCP ahead of time named Catry. So let's actually go back out of here. But that's where you would make a new quality control point. So inside of here, we want to select the Catry one that I talked about earlier. Okay. As you can see, I've selected our Catry product inside of the products field, which is very important. You always want to make sure you have the right product so that the naming makes sense. And the receipts operation in the operations field is present as well for our warehouse. Now, this means the QCP applies to receipt orders that contain the Catry product, but I could always choose a different product or operation. These actually allow you to add multiple. There's also nice little drop down menus that make it a little bit easier for you to find stuff. Maybe you can't spell that day. That is a frequent problem of mine. Now, I've also selected quantity up here in the control per field, which makes it so that the one quality check will be requested for each quantity of cat trees that we receive into our inventory. This is important because the failure location field that actually exists down here only appears when we have the quantity option selected. Speaking of which, you can also see that I've selected the failed bin already as the location in the failure locations. This means that the failed bin can be selected as the location where products that fail quality checks created by this QCP are sent. I should also note that multiple failure locations can be added to this field, allowing workers to process quality checks to choose where a product is sent. I don't know, outside in Steve's house, throw them somewhere. And that's all you have to worry about when configuring a QCP to use a failure location. And it's pretty simple. Now I think it's time for us to move on to see how all of this actually works. Let's go mess up Steve's place. Okay, since we selected the Catry product and the receipts operation on our QCP, I'm going to create a purchase order so that we can receive that product into our inventory. So to do so, we're gonna go into our purchase application over here. And now we wanna select the word orders and purchase orders. Obviously we need to click new over here because we're gonna create a new purchase order. So inside of our vendor field, I wanna use one of my cat related ones, cat cafe. I like that. And then obviously we need to use our product, which is that cat tree that I keep talking about. I'm being very literal today. So inside of our products tab, everything has been selected and we are ready to move on now. I also wanna enter a different quantity now that I've said that. We're gonna go with five just cause I wanna show multiples. Now I just need to click confirm order up here at the top and we're done. We've confirmed our purchase order. So once I did that, we have a receipt smart button up at the top, which we'll actually process once we receive the cat trees from our cat cafe. 
I can access that receipt by clicking on the receipt smart button that we have over here at the top of the page or by clicking on the receive products button at the top of the order. So let's actually do that. So let's receive our products because on the receipt form over here, we see a purple quality checks button right there. This means that this order has one or more quality checks that need to be completed. If I click on the quality checks button right there, a pop-up window appears from which we can process the check. In this case, the check is asking us if, does the cat tree stand up? I don't know, let's go check that. Okay, we're gonna pretend that I went to go check that. And sadly, let's say two out of the five cat trees we received fall over no matter how much we want them to stay straight up. So I'm gonna click fail at the bottom right there. We're not gonna give any notes, but we can if we want to. Now we have another pop-up over here on which we can actually specify the number of defective cat trees inside of our quantity failed. Not all five of them. Remember, I said two of them are gonna fail. And beyond that, you'll notice we see the failure location field that we talked about, which displays all of the failure locations available for this specific quality check. In our case, remember, I only had one option, which is failed bin. So I'm gonna select the failed bin and it changes a little bit of color. I don't know if it's hard for you guys to see, but you can tell that it has now been selected. And once we confirm it right there, it's been tossed into the bin. So in summary, we've told Odoo that two out of the five cat trees should be sent to the failed bin, while the rest can be entered into our warehouse's stock. Now I just need to click validate up here at the top. And once that we do that over there, both stock moves are validated. We can verify where each product was sent to by clicking on cat tree down inside of the products over here and then selecting it once again. And doing so, actually I just passed it by small doopsie. We're gonna select cat tree right there. And now inside of this pop-up, we can actually see failed bin, two units, and warehouse stock over there are three units. And there you have it. Everything was perfect. We are now storing the cat trees that failed the quality check in a location specifically designated for such failed bin items. Now, before I let you go, I just wanna show you how to view the failed bin location itself, along with all the items stored there. So to do so, that's funny enough, that's where I was first headed. I was ahead of myself. We're going to go over here to the inventory application. And then we want to select configuration and locations right there. Now here, I actually just need to select the failed bin. And then once that I am inside of here, we select the current stock smart button up at the top. And then our cat tree, as you can tell, the resulting page lists all of the products in the failed bin location. Currently, we only have cat trees in the bin. And we can tell from the on hand field that we have over there telling us there's 11 units of them. A lot of these fail. And that brings us to a close for today, Odooers. If you were paying attention, which I hope you were, you now know how to send products that fail quality checks to designated failure locations. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. I don't have any snacks at my table, but you should.